or when it's going to come to fruition because eventually, in, not, in the not too uh, distant future, I'm sure an African team is going to make a big impact in the World Cup. This is clearly to close them down at every opportunity. Okocha. Chase Scott. Eventually, the goalkeeper comes and doesn't get, but lots of stories that he's to leave for PSG this summer. Okocha. Speculation is rife. George. Who he is. Now for that man, Okocha. Stories suggest that he's asking money that PSG can't afford for a new contract. Yeah, that was a great ball forward into the channel. And Nigeria with George. Now. Oh, I had to go quite deep, but now we'll go forward notice when he gets any opportunity to do so. Akotcha. Wild tackles going in, and in the end, three of them get between them. Gee, that, Both. Ball, that was clearly offside on that occasion. But what we had was a good uh, example of... Uh, a place for Ipswich Town, whose uh, form in the Premiership has been so, so remarkable the last month. Uh, I think he probably struggled to get straight back into the team when he finally... Heads home, there's the ball back in. And it was from Akotcha, and it was well caught by Ajay. The uh, tempo not as brisk as it was early on, either. Both teams trying to settle down. This is Finity George for Nigeria. Again, Akotcha, key role in midfield. And there's the attacking Udezi. Akotcha again. Here, trying to close him down, tries the change of direction for Yobo. Quickly taken, George. Now, what can he do with this? That was the answer. Best chance of all. Great delivery. Fantastic header. Just scraped past the postage stamp corner there, but a uh, very, very good play. And I think with justification, yeah. Four minutes, uh, a long time to get Shalomo off on the ambulance. George. Now I had about three minutes for that one incident alone and there's been a, another couple of bits and pieces so the four shouldn't be a surprise this is George lovely skill by Akocha trying to do the impossible for opposition now Nigeria want to play and they've got a chance here Kano has gone forward to Revo West has gone forward as well there's plenty of players for quality and a good save again it was Agahoa who got the touch on it and Ajay right behind the line making a very sharp instinctive save. Clever free kick there driven along the face of the six yards box and good touch from Agahoa and fine goalkeeping from Ag with no challenge from uh, big uh, striker. Easy for the goalkeeper. But still caught it cleanly, that's important for his confidence. But it is yours. And this time Akotcha, and this time again Ajay getting behind it. And to be fair, you've got to say that the Ghanaian goalkeeper has done all that's been asked of him so far, Craig, and uh, they haven't really looked as though they know a way past him. No, Sami Ajay has done well. That was a comfortable save because it wasn't wide of him, but... No, and no sign of substitutions just yet. Finity George. One substitution, the enforced one, with the injury to the Nigerian goalkeeper. George, look for Kanu, gone for the return, and now maybe it might open up for Akotcha. This is Lowell, good block, follow-up ball. And the whistle goes to the relief, I suspect, of the Ghanaian back line. But Lowell going forward. And Akotcha behind him almost found an opening, Craig. Yes, both had an opportunity. Lowell here going in that inside left channel. Turns onto his right foot and fires a good one, but it's blocked. And the yellow-shirted Canadian boys come out and block Akotcha's foot. But it is a dilemma for the coaches because if you're going to put somebody on, if you're going to put somebody on, you're going to have to give them time to get into it, Craig. And how long do you delay it? Or do you take the view, you leave alone, and if it's extra time, then that's the time to your go. <laughs> Measured for Kanu. Now a Akotcha. Thought about having a go. Here's a real chance. Good save by the goalkeeper. Good 
But that was a wonderful back flick there from Cano. This is very good play, opening it up as well. And then we go there. Was Lawal had the fight? Lawal, yes, Agahauer overran it and Lawal got it. Changed feet, but wonderful goalkeeping. Now it's time to make the decision, and the goalkeeper has made the save. It was a good save as well to deny Akotcha. We've got that save safely in after the yeah, injury will have done him well too. Akotcha with the effort. The pitch arguably have been the four centre-halves, Craig, and that tells yes. his own story. It does indeed. They have been excellent. Okoronku is very good, but I just suspect that uh, down the left-hand side he, he may be vulnerable. But West has improved in fitness since the opening match against Algeria. He's getting his match fitness together and he uh, you know, just put it over the top. George. And suddenly they found the space behind the game. They're using the pace of Agahoa. He's got another chance here. And in the end, he tried to square it, and it was the wrong decision, but the goal, finally, is scored from the rebound by Lowell. And at last, the deadlock is broken, just when it seemed the chance had gone when Agahoa's ball was cleared. Lowell finally breaks the deadlock. And you'd be a national hero tonight if this turns out to be the winner, but at this stage, Craig, he thought it was over. Yeah, that was a great finish. He drove it brilliantly into the back of the net from the cup back there. A bit slack defending. Maybe this tournament's beginning to take its toll on him. That was a fine shot from a model professional. You like to see a good guy and a model professional being successful. And I'm told from Holland that Garba Lawal is in that category. They have nothing to lose now, Ghana. They have to really adopt that simple mentality. If we don't score in the next nine minutes, we're out. Agreed? Agreed, yes. I think uh, they've got to throw everything forward. Of course, that opens the back door as well. And with Get the baking done again if they get out of this one. Because this time you've got to say that Nigeria just about deserved to be in front. A Akocha, through ball for George. And the chap unlucky there to be penalised. A couple of minutes of stoppage time. This is Kanu. Gotcha. Almost had a bit part rather than expecting to be one of the leading players in it. And in fact, he didn't give it in play. They've got one. If they get one more, they're surely through. This is Yobo. Kanu wants to make amends for the earlier miss. A gotcha this side. Kanu goes on. No foul, says the referee. Ibrahim's challenge is fair. Ibrahim now goes forward. No challenge, no foul again. Kanu is offside, so he's got to wait, and now they can play it for Akocha. As Kanu gets to his feet. Now, Udezi. Akocha almost getting there first, but Mensa and the Poms are the two. Uh, Place that one, leaning back on it. He's got to get over it. Uh, that was a lovely bit of skill. They don't deserve to be in the semi-final. No, they don't. They've played well. And they're a very young side, but uh, you know, they're, I think marginally poorer than Nigeria. Nigeria, of course, have got huge resources. A country of over 120 million people and great enthusiasm for sport and for football. They've got terrific options. Surprise one, Akocha coming off. Akocha has done his job, saved for another day, but uh, he is replaced by Wilson Oruma. and hasn't this touch to perfection. Nigeria are through to the semi-finals of the African Cup of Nations. Garba Lawal gets the only goal 10 minutes from time, and for the second tournament running, it's Ghana's exit at the quarter-final stage. Not a match, perhaps, that will live long in the memory for the neutral. But it's a prized success for the Super Eagles and for their coach, Shebu Amadou. Just one was enough.